Hey guys and welcome back to another one of my LEGO tutorials and today I will be building the Gearbox which was first presented on my channel back in May of 2012 I believe and um, as always all the pieces you're gonna need are gonna come from this book so yeah let's get started so the first thing I'm gonna need are three eight stud bricks so all you gotta do is stack them on top of each other so it looks like this all right very simple and then you just uh, make another one of these so you got two of them all right all right uh, let's just put them aside for now and let's start working on some gears here so the first thing you want is a uh, eight stud axle and four uh, no, no, two forty two skiers yeah two forty two skiers all right so um, you just stick them through here like that Want to leave at least two studs, like behind here. So yeah. All right, and, and um, next get a ten stud axle, and um, get a twenty four tooth gear, and stick it um, in through, and get a eight tooth gear, put it through here, and then get a half bushing, to stick it roughly around here I don't know we'll adjust it later so yeah there's about a one stud gap between here actually no 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 wait no there's no there's no gap you just put them next to each other all right uh, for that side and lastly we take a um, 12 stud axle and um, another 24 2 gear we just stick it through again and then we take a um, 8 2 gear and stick it here and this time make sure there's about a stud one stud gap between these two gears all right uh, so let's kind of assemble them together now we put um, this, this thingy here through the hole the first hole from the left okay and um, next we take this one and then stick it uh, the fifth hole from the left so in this direction okay and so like yeah these two gears they mesh together all right and lastly um take this thingy and stick it um through this way <laughs> okay it's kind of weird this way all right all right so it looks like this all right so right now i'm just, just kind of push this over a bit all right good so now you got something that looks like this all right and now we're just gonna take the other thingy here and just stick it on like this All right so yeah these these things should be red these red walls should be parallel to each other All right okay and then uh, we take um, two six times two plates and we just stick them on underneath like this. All right, good. So um, now we just now we just gotta kind of adjust the gears a bit. The first things first. Let's just take um, a bushing. Um, put it here. All right. Okay. And then push these two gears up. Like, ugh. All right. So now this part should be secure. They can't move it left and right. And maybe just put one of these things on here for show. It, it doesn't really serve any real purpose. So, yeah. Alright. And uh, for the middle, the middle is kind of like switch. You're supposed to be able to move it back and forth. So um, let's just skip that for now and work on the, this part first. Alright, so this part, this um, longest axle, you want to kind of push this a bit until there's only one stud space at, at the end here all right and then just take a bushing and stick it right there and then just push these gears back to where they were originally Remen remember there's a one stud space between these two gears so yeah yeah okay and then uh, what I like to do is just take four bushings 
and just stick them on one by one onto the longest axle here. And at the end of it all, just put on a simple crank. Like that. That's great. Alright, uh, we're close to being finished here. All right, The last thing we gotta do is try to make the switch kind of adjust it a little. So the switch is in the middle, and you're supposed to be able to switch it between two gears. So right now, as you can see, I can't really switch it very far. That's because this half bu bushing is kind of blocking the way. So what you want to do is just kind of push this bushing a bit to the right. And then you can kind of like switch between this gear mode and this gear mode. This is that. It's kind of hard to switch, but as you can see it. What? Wait, wait, wait a minute. This fell down. Sorry. All right, let's put it back on. The bushing fell down. It went, it went loose. I'm sorry. So yeah, so you're to the switch. What the hell? Why, why is this so flimsy? Push everything back into place. All right, nice. Come on, seriously. All right, good, whatever, all right? And then um, last thing you wanna do is just um, take one of these zero degree axle connectors, and what I like to do is just stick it on the very end, like, like uh, that, yeah. And then take another one of these red bushings and put it like here or something. All right, and then when, after done with that, just kind of just adjust everything a little bit. Just adjust. All right, you might wanna push the axle a bit to the left or a bit to the right, this half bushing. You want to adjust it a little, and you also want to adjust the gears as well to make sure that the switch actually works properly. Because it's kind of hard to actually make it work properly. So yeah, as you can see here, this is the first gear, and this is the second gear. Yeah, I might want to push these a little more to the to the left. You can also adjust the spacing between these two gears on the bottom. No, well, that's also important. So try this. This is this will take a bit of time too, but it's okay. So yeah. Wait a minute. All right, good. All right, that's about right. Okay, so here's the first gear. Here's the second one. First, second. Okay, so the first one, when you spin the, when you turn the axle, no, the, when you turn the crank, this uh, wheel here moves fairly slowly. But when you switch to the second gear, watch what happens. It spins pretty fast. All right, so yeah, it's just a very simple gearbox. Nothing too fancy about it. And uh, I hope you learned something today. And yeah, see you next time.